Hi. Okay, so welcome to summer reading 2024. Teens, you get this fancy dancy blue folder. Looks just like last year's. Um, and inside of it, everything you need and all of the information. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go through some of this stuff just a little bit. And then TAC is did help with this video. So they're going to explain some of the stuff too. But they left me with the stuff that they consider boring. So eh, what you going to do? So you get a pencil. You get a wrist strap. And for the record, I would like to remind everybody that TAC picks most of this stuff out. Like, not just me. So, like, I'm not the one who picked you out pencils. Um, <laughs> can you get a bookmark? Because it is summer reading. And then you get a whole bunch of stuff. It's just, like, freebies. You get a temporary tattoo. You get a coupon from the Y. You get a coupon from McDonald's. You get a state fair ticket and a Renfest coupon, 50% off, which is a pretty good deal, and a $10 off camping coupon from the State Parks of Ohio. So all good stuff. Plus, inside of your folder is a ticket to our final program. Well, it's not, it's not really our final program because we have an additional one that's in the scheduling portion of this video. But anyway, our um, program at Little Buckeye Children's Museum, you get a ticket to this. Um, because you guys are welcome to come too. They have up uh, their upstairs room is pretty cool with like air hockey and giant checkers and like so some something with lasers and a couple other computer things. It's it's actually it's pretty fun. Uh if you're into that kind of thing. And then the other side of the folder, as always, has all of the important information. It's got your how to your how to booklet, calendars for June and July, and then all of our activities are ways to earn raffle slips that aren't reading um and we're going to go over this in more detail later in the video but there's trivia a scavenger hunt a writing contest a coloring contest um a digital resource hunt our survey please do this and then a list of current donors as of may 15th when i printed these um if you see any of these people running around town or shop at any of their businesses please say thank you because we can't do summer reading without them um and i'm just gonna go over real quick before i pass the baton down to some other people is the ways to earn raffle slips there are there are lots of ways as evidenced when we go through the activities portion but basically everything you do this summer gets you slips you get slips for checking out items any kind of item don't care what it is um, you get slips for attending events, any event for any age group that you happen to be at, whatever it is, you get a slip. Um, you get slips for correct answers on the trivia sheets, the scavenger hunts, um, both of them. There you get slips for turning in the survey. You get slips for turning in a short story. Um, I think that's everything. Oh, coloring contest, you get slips just for finishing it, and there are bonus slips for the person who happens to win staff favorite. Yep, that's all of our items. And it's all written, it's all written out in this really long, drawn out booklet, just so that you don't have to try to remember all of the things that I tell you when I talk really fast all at once. So, have lots of fun with us this summer. It's going to be great. Um... TAC put a lot of work into planning all of this stuff and picking out all of our prizes that they're going to show you in great detail this year. Adam and Aaron made a point of, I think, showing every single item in that box over there on the floor behind me. So hopefully we'll be seeing lots of you this year. Now what? I'm first. Oh, right. Um, it's yeah. The, it's the schedule and calendar. <coughs> I talk too much, I start to cough. Okay. Nobody wants to listen to that. You you, you see the first event coming up. Okay. Our first event is our kickoff event, which is next Thursday, which, depending on when you watch this video, will not be helpful, but it's May 30th at 6 o'clock. We'll be outside with DJ Ed and door prizes and games and snacks. The friends are giving us snacks. Should be fun. We're kind of excited. Yeah. Perfect excited. time to sign up for summer reading and... Get your, you know, folder raffle full of tickets. stuff and your raffle tickets and get started on things. 
And if you really don't want to come to that, you should come to the video games, which is on June 3rd. Mm-hmm. What video games are there? I don't know what's in the cupboard. Mario. There's 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 at least one version of Mario. There's a Donkey Kong where you gotta play the drums to get him to do things. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, most of us are very bad at that, but I have had a couple percussion members who were really good at it. Bree, um, Alexis was really good, but <laughs> um, yeah, it just kind of depends. Is there Legos, like Superman Lego or something? I don't know what's in the cupboard. A lot of our stuff is older. We need to get some new things. Okay, and if you love the Indiana Jones movies, that's on June 4th. The newest one. Which is the worst one. Is it? I haven't yeah, seen it. I shut it off halfway through. It's kind of I don't know. You guys, you guys picked these things. I didn't. I just. Not me. I just me. put them on the calendar. Okay, then do you love Priscilla Presley? Do you love Elvis Presley? Because June 5th, Elvis is coming. Elvis is coming to the library, yes. Elvis he's at the library this year instead of downtown. Did you hear what's going on with Graceland? No. Sorry. Right. Um, <laughs> right. June 6th, <coughs> Professor Tony's coming. Mm -hmm. That's a children's program, but you guys are welcome to come if you like. Yeah. He does juggling and tells jokes and stuff. Can you make blow up balloon animals? He does not do balloon animals. Okay. He might be able to, but I don't know. June 10th, the craft night is going on. Paper crafting. Yeah, what crafts are we doing? Stamping. <laughs> yes, so he's very excited about stamping. This isn't funny. What my, else are we doing? My eye is so bloodshot, it's not funny. Um, paper Do you want to gummy? be the dismembered voice in the background yeah, instead yeah, of me? Yeah, always be the dismembered voice. <laughs> Sharon, what are we doing for paper crafting night besides <laughs> origami and stamping? <laughs> the button machine and collages, oh, yeah. I think we put on the list. I'm so excited for the button machine. I love the button machine. Yes. Yeah. And paper flowers. The button machine is always everybody's favorite. Yeah. The stamping's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the Air and Space Museum. Yeah, they're coming to do a Living on Other Planets program with us. Because ours was uh, a request. <laughs> well, your request went to the Warren Rupp Observatory. And they didn't get back to me on a finalized date. So. Sharknado is on here. I'm so excited for Sharknado. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you miss um, the June 11th Air and Space program, you can always come June 13th. That's the children's program. We're going to learn how far apart the planets are. I don't even know that, so. Mm -hmm. You can go. Technically, right. yes, you would be welcome. Okay. However, that one will be geared younger, so you, it might not be. Your crowd? It, yeah, it might not be. <laughs> June 12th, local authors are coming. Yeah, I don't know who's coming. Those are the... Okay, so the Wednesdays are adult programs that technically you are allowed to come to, but I don't go. know information about those. Okay, so, so I just can't, skip them? You could skip those because I don't know them What's as that? well. Is that adult too? Um, teens usually do come to Music Trivia with but DJ Ed. It's going to be like hard, old, I No, he like usually... Like St Stevie Nicks or something. It's gonna be like he Stevie usually... Nicks. Excuse me. He usually tries to make sure that he... The teen table gets teen questions. Right. Okay. What, um, cooking. June 17th is cooking. And what are we going to be cooking? Or trying to cook? Any, or cooking with? Anything without an oven. So a toaster oven. <coughs> um, what an air the, fryer. What's it? No, what's the girl called? A, George Foreman. A George, George Foreman, Foreman girl. That you had to look up because <laughs> apparently I'm an ancient old lady. I no, I stuck Play-Doh in it. <laughs> Good then. I, I knew what it was. Okay. Bella, best event for June? The Sharknado movie. That's your best event. Yeah. All okay, these things the we have event. going on, and that's your favorite. Well, besides probably paper crafting. Okay. What a, or Sandar, which is coming up. Oh, I'm so excited for Sandar, actually. I'm excited for music trivia. Who knows country? I can answer some of them, you but not the new team. stuff. You gotta be on our team. I, I know, like, Carrie Underwood and Dolly Parton, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be the pop, like, Justin Bieber. When hey, you could be K-pop, K-pop, K-pop. Right here. Right here. <laughs> okay, um, that's adults. Outback Ray. That's kids, but you're welcome to come. He brings, like, Donkeys? ten animals. Oh. Donkeys. <laughs> yeah, he's got exotic animals, like snakes and turtles and birds and stuff. Mm -hmm. Lawn, lawn games, June 24th. Yeah, we got a croquet set. We got a mini golf set. We got a cornhole set. 
Yep, all right. And I bought a whole giant box of sidewalk chalk. Walk at Seltzer's. Yeah, we'll meet um at the playground next to the pool. And we'll walk and we'll have fun. Unless it's thundering, at which point we will We be... watch Monster High. I mean, House. Mo Monster House. House. Monster House. You're close enough. So. You would not have. You barely <laughs> talked them into watching Monster House, let alone Monster High. It's I good. Like Boo Boo you, New Monster York. Hmm? Boo Boo New York is the best one. Okay. Music trivia. You're probably going to have to go against a bunch of adults that will get mad at yeah, you. Yeah, but you, every, you play on teams. I know, but that's so. Your Jamie Joe is gonna be the adult of our team. <laughs> yes, Jamie Joe. Because you're gonna know Taylor Swift. And I don't know the newer stuff as well as I do the older stuff, so I'm not always the best. Well, if you don't come to that, you can always have a Falcon land on you, right? Yes, the oh, Falcon. Twenty seventh. Okay, June. so the twenty seventh is the children's Falcon. There is a teen Falcon somewhere. Yeah. I like him. In July, you're more likely to get to hold, hold one it. in July. Okay, now Sharon's favorite event is June 29th, which is the sand art. Yay! Woo! I'm excited. I did buy sand. Pink? Green? Colors? Orange? The rainbow. Some of it Purple. is neon. Some of it is more normal colors that hasn't arrived yet, but some of it is neon. Are those the images? Yeah, to put sand on. Yeah, they're glue. like peel and stick, and then I have little containers of things and necklaces and some fun stuff. Okay, now we're on. That's July, right? Yep. Okay, just making sure. So July first is karaoke. Woo! You get to hear Sharon sing some K-pop. <laughs> Jamie sing some Taylor Swift. So. I don't sing in front of people. <laughs> I was got. I was got caught. And for its excited, no they walked in. <laughs> I was oh, singing, no. Like, I was, you were mid fell and then they just walked in. <laughs> I was singing Justin Bieber. Wait, what was I singing? That should be know. me. And then all yeah. of a sudden, the door whips open, and I have to stop mid word. Well, come here and do it on purpose. No, don't <laughs> laugh at me. No, it's okay. You can. We don't laugh at people. Okay. We laugh with people. Yeah. July 2nd, watch The Mummy. She's yeah. the best movie librarian ever. <laughs> For the record, she's amazing. Okay, then the third, we have a movie marathon of Jurassic Park. Yeah, we're going to watch Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and Jurassic <laughs> World Dominion. Okay, and then July 4th, we're closed. We are closed July 4th. It's America's birthday. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yes, it is. July 8th is board games. Mm -hmm. We can't play Monopoly. Probably not. Why not? We like Monopoly. Sharon doesn't. Listen, that's just me. Like, y'all can. I just won't play. I'll be the baker. Nine is finally Teen Falcons. Yes. You get to hold a falcon. That one's always really fun. He brings five different birds of prey. Five or six? I think it's five. He brings quite a few. Um, they always kind of rotate a little, so I can't say for sure who, who he's bringing, but he always brings five. And you get to catch one. And that one year for the children's program, I got to hold an owl Aww. so that he could get him to fly because he was trying to train him. Stop for adults, too. <laughs> Spokes and Floats is an adult program. Yes, you are welcome to come. What do they do? <coughs> That's the Wednesday right before bicycle days. So somebody brings bicycles, Shelby bicycles. We'll talk about them in some fashion of this is the history of the Shelby bicycle. And we eat root beer floats. The root beer floats are usually what bring people in. <laughs> but the bicycles are kind of cool. Okay. July 11th, Jeff Nicholas. He's the cartoonist, and I recommend him for all ages because you draw along with him, and he can turn anybody into an artist. He's amazing. <laughs> like, I can't draw stick figures except when Jeff's here. <laughs> um... July 15th, we have another craft night. It's Adventure Gardens. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Kind of like fairy gardens, Flip only it. we want to do them on yeah. an adventure Ornaments. theme. Ornaments. Ornaments. Okay. Yeah. Then Back to the Future movie, mm -hmm. the 16th. Yes. Is that the first one? Yes. I like the second one. I like the third one, where they go, like, to the Wild West, and they end up using the train as the time machine. And then he has, like, what, like, three sons or something? Yeah. In the back. 
Um, that's a doubt. Little Buckeye's not for us. Yes, it is. It is. We could go. Yeah. Yes, your t- your. <laughs> I'm which so hopefully excited. we will Me mention too. we have already mentioned in another portion of this this is your ticket you have to have your ticket to get there but you guys said you wanted to do that too because yeah. of the upstairs room where they've got like oh. the the better i just want to play mcdonald's oh, no i mean you can do that too but where they've got the like giant air hockey and the... yeah i went last year for child development and they were building that so yeah I skipped out on it i got to play mcdonald's and hairdresser downstairs. yeah we did we i got i went over and got a tour right before they opened it it's really cool they've got giant they've, checkers giant like checkers board. there's a couple chess boards there's a couple of like electronic games and there's a laser thing laser tag? <laughs> i don't know if it's laser tag or laser like bank heist where you gotta like go up and around and over the things okay but no it's pretty and like a wall you can either climb or get stuck to i don't remember there was something about the wall i said no (laughs) then it all ends the 19th at the end of the summer reading block party yes and we'll have a door prize that night you have to be present to win the door prize all other prizes you don't have to be present for when do we go back to school Uh, august i don't know we're at that's not on this calendar i don't know Okay, so what are we talking about? Um, the activities. Yeah. The ways you can earn raffle slips that aren't necessarily reading. Like teen trivia. One what, why are you hiding behind the thing? <laughs> Where warehouse okay. thirteen is located in a remote area of South Dakota and houses what? What is it house? I don't even know the answer to that. Well, you're in the television section. Oh. Very easily distracted by things. Warehouse 13 was a TV show on the Sci-Fi Channel where they went around and hunted artifacts that had historical significance and or magical properties. How old is that? Not that old. Is it like a cartoon? No. We have it on, we have it in our DVD section. It's pretty fun. Never mind. Go ahead, go ahead. You get one raffle slip per correct answer. All of which can be found using basic Google search skills, which are, you know, a solid life skill. And don't forget, when doing the bonus questions, that generally, if you can name the staff member, it's almost always me. Yes. Okay. What else you got? The cryptid scavenger hut, which... They'll be hidden around the library. You have to find them. Their number... Yeah, one, corresponds two, three, with their number in case you don't know what you're looking at. This one's the cutest one. That one is the cutest one, but you gotta show him the goblin because he cracked me up. He was funny. He, you kind of did. Wait, no, that's not a goblin. Teen Titans. Him. He's goofy. This is the scariest one. That one was. The, yeah, that one was kind of scary. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then the digital resources scavenger hunt. All of which can be found on our digital resources pages. Or using common sense, you can answer using the word bank. Wait, so you could just put anything? So, like, information on women's history, like the 19th Amendment? These, okay. Okay. These are the resources that are on our website. (coughs) Either on the digital resources page or on the teen services page. So you're looking for a specific answer? Yes. Okay. One raffle slip per correct answer on this one, too. However, if you look at the, the, like answer bank down here like Pretty most of them most of them are but once again they're on our website you can find them the teen coloring contest with this image i like didn't pick it i didn't pick it either like for the record i, I like the, the one with all the little yeah. like passport tags <laughs> okay yeah, you get 10 raffle slips for completing it and then the staff's gonna pick a favorite and whoever wins favorite gets 20 extra slips to write a short story and become an author these this will get you raffle slips but it also comes with its own separate prize which is the two kings island tickets or a creative writing kit what what's the theme the theme is write your own adventure story there are some rules that go along with that (laughs) no no like it has to be (laughs) i didn't write that down but i maybe should have (coughs) except that kid aged out and isn't writing anymore so it'll be fine (laughs) But, no, you have to um, include a library, um, and then your cover sheet has to have basic information. And there are a list of 
adventure elements, you have to include six. I mean, it doesn't say how deeply you have you to include this. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be better. You could it. write it this way. A lot of the kids choose to do it that way. Most teens write. Uh, type. Okay, the teen survey. Mm -hmm. It may look like a lot, but it's actually fairly easy. It is pretty quick and easy. And this quick helps us do all of our programming for the upcoming year. Yeah. So. Improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you think we're dumb, this is the best way to fix it. Okay. Yeah, so is that it? That's all yeah. your parts and pieces? Yeah, let me fix it, so. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm a TAC member. Hello, I'm Adam. I am the historian. We are talking about prizes for summer reading. Yes, we are reading the fun prizes. <laughs> Tell me about this. Yeah. First... Uh, here you go. Okay, well, I got apples to apples. You, um, it's a fun game. <laughs> I love it. I the other game is better though. Okay. So this is classic games. It there's chess, checkers, tic tac toe, uh, backgammon, snakes and ladders, and. Sorry, I think that's it. Yeah, that's sorry. Right. Are we going to go in that detail with every single box that's in that box? Because no. this part <laughs> might end up taking you an hour. No, we're not doing it. Okay. Next, there's Clue. Well, yeah, my Okay. But there's also 21st century <clears throat> trivia game. I don't do good, well in trivia. You got the chickens? Yes, they're so fun. I did get the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> now all of this stuff that you're showing goes into how many different prizes? Uh, one. Ten. 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 <laughs> Separate prizes, and they get to pick and choose what they want, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so you're gonna put your apple in the prize bin of your choice. I'm getting these. And we do have we do have to figure out how these are going to be organized. I just haven't organized them that way yet. <coughs> I was excited. I got them separated from the children's things. There is Jumbo Snakes and Ladders, but it's in a cardboard box, so you can't really see it. It's Snakes and Ladders only Jumbo. This one. Um, there's also Wonders of Science. A little nerd game. Um. <laughs> we got a, a, a like electromagnetic science thing that goes with that. Sick. Um, but I don't think it, I don't know if it's in the box yet. I think it hasn't arrived. We have puzzles. Yeah, we have puzzles. Puzzles. Yeah, we have a lot of puzzles. Oh, pass the pickle. <laughs> you know that game, dude. I'm not the only who doesn't uh, know that game. There's Castle no, Castle right. Point. It's a game. Did you guys already do the Legos? No, that's no, that's later. Sadly, I love Legos. So. Five minute mystery. Interesting. Like, didn't we play that game the other day? No, that was dungeon. I love dungeon. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, there there is are, no there your parents are gonna shirt. hate me for those chickens. Yup. <laughs> Jenga. That's just a classic set of Jenga. I hate Jenga. There are some beanies. Beanie baby. What do they that say? Says, Libraries are life. I'm never getting I don't know why, but <sighs> I'd like to remind you that you guys pick out this stuff. I did not pick I that. just buy whatever's in budget. <laughs> There's a what a bottle. That is cool, actually. I don't know what this is. It's called Pass the Pickle. It's a goofy owl pickle. <laughs> I love goofy looking pickle. It is a goofy owl pickle, dude. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to throw it at some homeless person. No! Get it. I'm throwing it at my neighbor or something. It's I don't a recommend that either. Spectrum catch disc thing. I don't know what this is. Oh, is it like when you hold it and then. Yeah. Hold it? ball you gotta try to catch it because it's sticky. Ah, yes. That's probably what it is. Those are cool. Uh, this, I don't even know what, what this is. is. The pencil case? Oh. Minnesota oh, pencil. I see the, I see, I see the pencil case. It's the zipper. Now. I was just wondering why it's so fluffy. Oh, just because it's cool. Small journal thing. There's a lot of small There's a things. bunch of those, yeah. yeah. Uh, Adventures. I think we got, I think, I don't know, open it up. Um, I think we got five 
No bag. Five journals for the big prizes, and I think the weekly prizes all have, yes. Because they're reading light. Yes, there should be enough of those that every prize gets one. Yeah, there's about ten. Oh, those are the, the that's what yeah. Cool. Uh, and to be done with the fest box then? Uh, or, or in the bag? Bag. The bag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Adventures begins at the library. At your library. Mm-hmm. Don't roll your <laughs> eyes, dude. You're here three times a week. <laughs> I know. I hate it, dude. So, it's so all fun. of your adventures start here. Nuh-uh. Only most of them. I have a life outside this place. Really? <laughs> no, I don't. This is my, like, half Did life. you talk about the art set that I had to open? No. No. Not yet. That's we not. are doing two. Okay. Just checking. There are acrylic pad and sketchbooks and there's a art kit that's a giant kit it is <gasps> it got a lot of stuff paint. nobody can see that have you been doing that the whole time no, no. I, oh good yeah there's paints crayons this is the one that's easy to see with the pastels and the watercolors and the colored pencils so there you go <laughs> okay, I don't do that the whole video. No, you did not. I was paying attention. Jimmy, what's Drop that? Magic Cat. I was wondering that, too. That's, That's a for, kid prize? Yeah. Uh, um, it's a, it's like, a... Lord Magic Kit. <laughs> okay, what now? What next? These? Yeah. Ah, uh, team weekly now, prizes. Now, wait just a second. Wait, wait, wait. If you're going to talk oh, like, about all of the other prizes, you should maybe finish talking yeah. about the stuff that goes in the big prizes before you break out the smaller weekly prizes. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, technically you don't have to, but logically that makes more sense. Yeah. I think we're still... One, two, three... Maybe four, one, two. No, that might be all the Legos. Oh. But those little packets ones, too. Well, yeah. You can take them. It, we'll need like to cut off this long silence. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's it, it, it came Sorry. out a little different than I was expecting. We should not be Here's, having yeah. this while we're recording. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we should have paused. We should have paused. Uh, <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> this is Darth Vader. Lego set. It's like it's really expensive Lego set. We have to pick what we have to do. It's also called Dark Vader for some reason. They got the fun stuff. It's mm-hmm. stupid. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. They it's awesome. <laughs> Here's uh, <laughs> London. Lego London. I think I bought that for a couple different groups. That's a that's a popular skyline. Yeah, that's the year before. That's your my god. Mm. Uh, Lego flowers. The flowers. Now, if I remember correctly about the how flowers. we were packaging things together, these three flowers all go together because they're a smaller. You know, they're smaller. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's yeah. yeah. Oh. I know. I'm getting. Well, the I'm rest of them are all huge, and so those ones, like, because they were little, they go together. Hey, if What's I win it? Dark Vader, I'll trade. I bet, bet. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get the polo in as well. Lego Super Mario Piranha Plant. The Polaroid. Little camera with little camera no, pictures. And it actually works. Yeah. Which one? Uh, Polaroid? Uh, this one looks good. Or the Starline. Yeah. So or that one. The Mario one. Okay. They are pretty just cool all the flowers. for Legos. Are there more I'm big sure prizes? Um, there's a couple mugs in the bags, but you don't have to open those if you don't want to. Because it's just a couple mugs, and then it's just the bags. You don't have to show all ten bags. We have a lot of bags. There are ten bags and three mugs. Yeah. Because there are ten prizes. So, therefore, there are ten bags. Like, there's a little bit of logic to our day. A little bit. Okay. Now we're going to talk about weekly prizes, which are smaller and... Hold every Monday. Yes. Monday, okay. There's a pig stuffed animal. There's a stuffed animal for each one. Yeah, there's a stuffed animal for each one, and there's a pig right here. Do you need the turtle? What? Did I get the turtle? I don't remember. I got the crab. There's like a bunch of these little mini things. <laughs> yeah, you get one mini figure, one stuffed animal. And there's a crab stuffed animal. Crabs are awesome. I'm I still have to buy them, but every prize gets M&M's. M&M's? Uh, M&M's. Yeah. I think this is a... It's red panda. Yeah, red panda. Those are awesome. No, it's called cool. yeah. the basic panda. Show every single one. There's a coon. What are these? Oh, they just. No more journals. That's why I said we got them for more the. More journals. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. A giraffe. Well, I don't pay attention. <laughs> we know, Aaron. Sorry. That's yeah. why you're talking about this part and not yes. the schedule. <laughs> you did get the turtle. Baby. I did get the turtle. Yippee! Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna try to cop that. Right. 
take it. I think these are more reading lights. The alligator? Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. It's a library card holder. I have that. Library card holder. Looks like a Yu Gi Oh card. There should be sticky notes and like Yu -Oh. magnetic a bird. Isn't there reading lights for the There's also a magnet. A penguin? Mm -hmm. Penguins? Yeah, yeah. penguins. I walked. There you go. There's some bookmarks. Magnetic bookmarks, yeah. yeah. Those are cool. I put them like Those are pretty cool. They're big too. Usually they're smaller than that. That's a large. Oh, that is. Like they're they're, they're, just, they're usually like. Yeah, they're like that many. <laughs> I won like a Frankenstein. It's stupid. I mean, sticky not, notes. Yeah. Ooh. Sticky notes. They're Tiny very ones. small. Yeah. So I hope you don't write big. <laughs> I do. It's awesome. Sarah uh, writes very big. I, you know, that's a good point. Those are the perfect size for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> she can't see me with them, though. Magnet. Again? I love magnets. All right. Where's the other prize? Okay, I, we do have two door prizes for our kickoff event on the 30th. I bet. And our final on July 19th. Oh, we also have this. Yeah, Y coupons are going in every single prize because the Y gave us a lot. Yeah. Do you want what's in the door prize? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. That door prize is for the kickoff and for the um <coughs> the final. Uh, I think we're still missing the Jeopardy game that goes with the final, but we do have the the, the card game that goes with the alligator. Oh. Grab it. Alligator. Now the door prize you can only win by being present. So like you have to come to the kickoff and you have to come to the final. Those. The rest of them you don't have to be present. We'll call you. <coughs> The cool thing. It's a cup. Yeah, cups are awesome. Cool. Right. What are these dogs? That's the game you picked because you were tired of Uno. What? Although after the hour and a half game the other night on Dude. the world's smallest cards, that I don't blame you. I'm tired of Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Any other prizes or things that you want to share? That's it. On things you can win, things you're excited about, <coughs> things you picked out and hope other people are excited about. God. These are all fun. Nope. You all good? Yep. Okay. Then somebody push the button. Bet.